Now, what is T distribution when we are calculating the confidence interval? In a previous video, we are already discussed how to calculate the confidence interval when we are using the Z scores. We use the Z scores for the calculation of confidence interval when the sample size that is N is more than or equivalent to 30. When the sample size is more than or equivalent to 30, then the Z scores are used for the calculation of confidence interval. So then what is the T distribution and in that case when the sample size is more than or equal to 30 and we use Z scores the, at that time we use the Z distribution. So now what is the T distribution? The T distribution is nothing is just a, as simple as uh, as we discussed the pre previously how, how to calculate the confidence interval it is just that when the sample size when sample size is less than 30, when the sample size is less than 30 and we have obviously we will calculate the confidence interval for a sample size of uh, less than 30, it is just that instead of Z scores we use T scores and just as Z scores are the authentic calculations authentic values from standardized tables same is the case with t scores now let's elaborate it with an example say for example we have a data set of six samples if our n is 6 and of i think we should reconsider it if you remember in our very initial uh, video of how to calculate the uh, standard deviation there we used a data set of 6. So, we are using the same data set. So, n is equal to 6, the sample mean is 18 and standard deviation is plus minus 7.8. So, just remind how to calculate the confidence interval what we are calculating we are calculating the confidence interval and for the confidence to calculate the confidence interval obviously uh, we will take a confidence level and we will take the common example that confidence level of 95 percent you can also have the confidence level of 90 percent or 99 percent but as usually it is taken as 95 percent so we will uh, we are using that so, we now want to calculate the confidence interval. So, in between is mean, on right side we have x bar plus margin of error, on left side we have x bar minus margin of error. So, if you remember the formula for the calculation of confidence interval while we were using the z scores just revise that that formula was the confidence interval to calculate it we have x bar in center positive here negative here and how to calculate E? Obviously, we need the value of E when we were using the Z scores and the Z distribution. The formula of E was ZC standard deviation divided by square root of n. So, now what we are doing? Now we are calculating the confidence interval while using a Z distribution. Why? Because our sample size is less than 30. Sample size is just 6. So, this basic maths will be the same. That on right side we will have x bar plus margin of error. On left side we will have x bar minus margin of error. This E is just to revise this E is margin of error 
and this procedure where we are calculating these two values is called the interval estimate. It is called the interval estimate and this central value of our sample mean that is x bar it is also called the point estimate. So, what is the point estimate? If anyone asks you or you just read it somewhere, never get confused point estimate is the x bar the sample mean. Now, using the t distribution we are calculating the confidence interval to find out the e here we will have the formula the t scores multiply by standard deviation divided by n. So, first of all to find out this value as we know that our standard deviation is 7.8, 7.8 divided by underscore 6 it is equal to 7.8 divided by 2.4 obviously we will use the calculator for doing all these kind of things and then t score now multiply by 7.8 divided by 2.4 now as we know that the z score at 95 percent confidence interval the z score was 1.96 at 95 percent confidence level the z score was 1.96 and always remember that at 95 percent confidence level the t score is two point one four five. So, here we will have 2.145 multiply by answer of this that is 3.25. So, it will be equal to 6.97 for our ease we will round it off to 7. Now, our confidence interval will be x bar was 18, 18 minus 7, 18 plus 7, here is 25, here is 11. So, our confidence interval is between 11 and 25 and what it means? Now, this means that our population mean mu the that is also called the population parameter is between these two values of 11 and 25. So, our confidence interval while using a t distribution table by using a t score entering that t scores into the formula of finding out the margin of error when the sample size is less than 30. Here we have our confidence interval values. So, this is t distribution in contrast with what was z distribution.